Many celebrities look alike today, and it's probably because they use the same makeup techniques and also undergo similar surgical procedures. Dove is obviously very gorgeous, and it's all thanks to some adjustments on her body. Welcome to Ribbon It. Today, we'll have a look at Dove Cameron's transformation over the years. We came across a conversation from people who knew Dove Cameron when she was younger, and the details will shock you. Before we get to that, let's start from the beginning. Baby Dove. To understand her looks, we first need to understand her roots, and luckily Dove Cameron has spoken about her ancestry in some of her interviews. Cameron has stated that she is of French descent and that she speaks some French. She's also of Russian, Slovak, and Hungarian descent. Dove's photos on her Instagram go all the way to 2012 when she was around 16 years old. Well, by that time, she had already made some adjustments to her face, but luckily her mom is also on Instagram, and of course, she has all the throwbacks. If you look closely, you'll notice that Dove, as a little girl, had a very distinctive nose. Her hair color was naturally light brown, and her lips were a bit thin. Of course, she was also a very adorable child. In 2007, Cameron played the role of young Cosette in the Bainbridge Performing Arts stage production of Les Miserables. And in 2008, she had the lead role of Mary in The Secret Garden. At that time, she was still young and innocent, but only until a few years later. 2011, things started to change when Dove Cameron started landing bigger roles in the entertainment industry. This is the same year that her dad died, and she changed her name from Chloe to Dove. Well, it looks like she also decided to change her appearance to suit the new name and the new lifestyle in the entertainment industry. Dove lightened her hair to a yellowy blonde, and most fans believe that she got her first nose job when she was just 15. The surprising part was that her mother allegedly supported the procedure. Keep in mind that Dove's mom has written a book called The Hollywood Parents Guide, Your Roadmap to Pursuing Your Child's Dream. Pursuing your child's dream in the film industry means going to unimaginable lengths to make sure they land major roles, so a nose job was probably not a big deal. Let's also not forget that Dove got her first tattoo when she was 14, so her mom is evidently the type of mom who would bend a few rules for her daughter. 2012, Cameron was cast in a Disney Channel series titled Bits and Pieces as Alana. Shortly after filming the pilot, Bits and Pieces was retold into Liv and Maddie and saw Cameron starring in the dual lead role of Liv and Maddie Rooney. This year, she was 16 years old and her face was fuller, but that was probably because of teen fat. In her defense, she had started earning a lot of money for playing both Liv and Maddie and she was probably only eating well. The pilot episode of Liv and Maddie gained 5.8 million viewers, which was the most watched in total viewers in two years since the series Shake It Up. Okay, another explanation of the full face was that she had face fillers. At some point, the face looked too swollen. Plus, it was just the face, the rest of the body was still skinny. People also started noticing that her lips were also fuller, and that wasn't because of the teen fat. Her hair color also changed to a strawberry blonde, which is the hair color of Liv and Maddie. In the show, Dove and her doubles all had to wear wigs because of different hair textures, but the color was similar to her hair. Eagle-eyed fans even noticed that the lip fillers had somehow backfired. Whoops! 2013 there are barely any raw photos of Dove from 2013, but this is when things started becoming very clear. The bridge of Dove's nose looked completely flattened. Okay, it's not supposed to look that way, so many people speculated that it was another surgical operation gone wrong, probably because she was too young to undergo rhinoplasty. A collapse often results in a droopy tip that would need future intervention to fix. Well, she already had the money to undergo the necessary corrections because sometimes it takes a couple of procedures to get the perfect nose. Well, after a while, her nose looked okay again. This is also the same year that she started becoming serious about her music career. On August 27, 2013, Cameron released a cover of On Top of the World by the Imagine Dragons as a promotional single. Her cover peaked on the Billboard Kid Digital Songs chart at 17 and spent three weeks on the chart. On October 15, 2013, Better and Stereo was released as a single under Walt Disney Records. The song made its debut on the Billboard Kid Digital Songs chart at number 21 before peaking at number one, becoming Cameron's first number one hit. As she was singing and enjoying life, fans started noticing her dimples, which were not present when she was younger. There's no evidence that Dove was born with dimples because in every smiling picture from her youth, she had no dimples. Yeah, people also get dimples through surgery these days. In 2013, her hair color also matched the color of her eyebrows, but that didn't last long. 2014. In 2014, she had hopes of pursuing a serious musical career. In February, Cameron confirmed reports that recording had begun for her debut studio album. Her next single, Count Me In, was released on June 3, 2014. The song peaked at number one on the Billboard Kids Digital Songs chart. By that time, Dove had changed her hair color, and it appeared a bit reddish. She kept the hair throughout the year, and fans still noticed that she was undergoing transformations. Her lips were way fuller, and she had dramatic fake eyelashes for the better part of the year. Dove claimed that her long eyelashes were all natural, and she loved them the way they were. Lies. They appeared to be the result of prescription lash serum like Latisse. People don't just grow long eyelashes all of a sudden. In case you hadn't noticed, her eyes were also hooded, but by 2014, they were no longer hooded. Okay, we'll let the hooded eyes slide because that is something good makeup can easily fix. Her bottom lip also appeared overfilled to the point where her inner mouth skin was protruding out and exposed. 
and a brow lift was also very evident. Dove's eyebrows were placed much higher up, and her eyes appeared lifted compared to the low brows and neutral almond eyes of her childhood. 2015. By 2015, Dove's skin had achieved a perfect glow. She could easily get away with a simple lip gloss and a blush. She had also achieved the perfect blonde with her hair. This is also the time we saw her in Descendants where she looked perfect. Dove and Ryan McCartan also formed a band called The Girl and the Dreamcatcher in the same year and released their first single, Written in the Stars. 2016. Let's have a closer look at Dove's lips in 2016. Of course, we've already established that she got lip fillers, but Dove added finer details to her lower lip. The lip was double-lobed before, but in 2016, it was too evident. Double-lobed lips can be created by removing tissue at the center of the lip and through precise lip filler injections. At this point, she had started achieving the perfect look, and that leads us to the next year where she knew which features looked best with her face. 2017. From her photos from 2017, you notice that the face is thinner. Her eyebrows are perfectly lifted and bushy. She also had a remarkable chiseled nose. 2018. Dove Cameron maintained her appearance in 2018, and she was probably comfortable with the look she had achieved. Her nose was no longer droopy, and she has gone back to a smaller top lip, which works best for her face. 2019. This year, Dove Cameron surprised her fans with another hair transformation. She still looks like a doll, but a doll with lilac hair. When she released the video to her first single, fans were worried that her lips now looked very weird. She has basically out Kylie Kylie Jenner with the lips. Breast implants. We're not sure when this was done, but it definitely happened. A fan asked Dove why her cleavage was so perfect. And Dove revealed on her Twitter that her cup size is C, and they've been like that since she was 14 years old. However, there's a 90% chance that her breasts were enhanced. Here's a good explanation. Cup size typically stops growing once ladies hit 18 unless they gain weight. Clearly, Dove hasn't been gaining weight, so the dramatic change in her size after 18 years can only be due to implants. Okay, Dove hasn't done anything wrong by getting the surgeries. In fact, she's within Hollywood's standards. The problem is how she insists that she's all natural and talks about how people should accept themselves. Apparently, Dove has been photoshopping her photos from when she was younger to make her fans believe that all her features are natural. Huh. Gets better, though. Here's a conversation from Lipstick Alley among people who grew up with Dove in Bainbridge Island. Ronnie. Dove had her first nose job when she was 14. She also had lip injections, eyelash extensions, and dimple surgery. She is a scary and sad shadow of what she once looked like in Bainbridge, Washington. But her personality is just as shallow as ever. Can't change that with surgery. Just as snobby as her mom, Bonnie. Glad you two are off the island. Wow. Sounds like someone who is still very angry with Dove and her mom. Then there was a response from one of her classmates, Bella. I used to know her, and yes, what Ronnie said is totally true. It pains me that she has said in interviews that she was bullied starting in fifth grade. She was the bully. She would bully me. You can ask anyone that knows her from the island, and they can tell you about her nose job as well as her, at least previously, shallowness. I've known her since she was a child pre-surgeries, and unfortunately, she is a lying bully. Like mother, like daughter. And then there was another confirmation from yet another person who knew her, Emma. What Bella has said is absolutely true, and I live in Burbank and went to school with Dove here. Clearly, she hasn't changed a bit. When she got her dimples done, she began saying that she was just smiling in a different way. Hilarious. Well, there you have it, everything you need to know about Dove Cameron's gradual transformation. Let us know what you think in the comments section below, and remember to subscribe to Riveted.